This is a day in the life of having a female president. I wake up as early as possible and in honor of our new president, I strap on my coconut bra. Then I go out to my garage, put a piece of glass on the ceiling, and smash it with a hammer just to remind myself how great things are. I text my nieces and tell them not to worry that a bunch of creepy Republican men aren't keeping a chart of their menstrual cycle. Our Pikachus are protected again. I volunteer as a crossing guard at the local middle school, not only to ensure students can safely cross the street, but also to keep an eye out for Matt Gates. I then go to my book club where we're reading every book banned by Florida. Next, I have a little dance party to my new favorite song, the J.D. Vance I'm a Never Trump Guy. Because I no longer have to worry about my rights being taken away, I decide to take Doug on a quick trip to outer space so he can go for a walk on the moon. And don't worry, we get there safely because Elon Musk didn't make our spaceship. At the end of the day, I pop my favorite edible and close my eyes knowing Trump is a distant memory who now lives in a prison full-throating all his new boyfriends. And I sleep like a fucking baby. And that's a day in the life of having a female president.